Hello my soccer universe, I think it is time for another collection video and since we have all this Italian background here, I thought yeah, let's look at another Italian jersey. Um, to be honest, this is now not in sequence of how I got it, but I said what, what should be what gives. This Parma jersey, I need to make a video, this Atalanta jersey and then there are a few Roma jerseys back there and wherever. But no, uh, since I was wearing it in the Serie A video yesterday, I want to show you what I think is the gold standard for a black AC Milan jersey. It's this beauty that I didn't get too long ago, although this was on my wish list uh, ever since I saw it. I think the first, this was in 98-99. And I have to say, I was initially not a real fan of the first Adidas jersey when they got back to Adidas with the slightly thicker stripes but when I saw this black jersey I have to say I almost immediately fell in love with it um, yes I like I at least liked to wear black back then I still like to wear black uh, t-shirts or whatever so black jersey always is a great one and I always thought that black makes a lot of sense for Milan they had a really nice looking when they were wearing Lotto and I'm wearing Lotto here uh, in that season yeah exactly in that season, <laughs> 96, uh, 96, 97, where they didn't do all the, all, all the, all the great. And yeah, um, then Adidas came out with this one. I think the white jersey from, from season now is not, it's not that special, but this black one immediately grabbed me. And it grabbed me because despite it being the black jersey, there's enough red in it that it is a Milan jersey. It really feels like a Milan jersey and it takes has a different take on it with the horizontal stripes and I find these three horizontal stripes such a strong statement for a Milan kit or any Adidas kit. Remember Carlos Roa at the 98 World Cup Argentina? The three stripes, it, this is a template that I think is heavily underused by Adidas. This is something they should use much more often. The first time I actually saw this kit in person was I think in January 99 when there was an indoor soccer tournament hosted by LUSK and when you entered the indoor arena they had like this Adidas stand or whatever and they had this on a mannequin. This one I said wow this is a great jersey I really would like to have that one but you couldn't buy it there. Um, not that I had the means actually I think but if it would have uh, popped up at the local sports store I probably would have got it. I never had the chance when I visited Milan later that year, they didn't have that jersey because that would have been high on, on my list. And why would it be high on, on my list? Because not only does it look great, it has the memory of that last match day in 99 when Oliver Bierhoff with a header secures the very unexpected title for Milan in Perugia. Uh, this is my main memory, soccer memory with, with, with the jersey. It has been odyssey to get one. Uh, I know when I first look at classic football shirts, these jerseys always sold for a whole lot of money. And I was twice close to buying it, but I never could bring myself to spend that, that much money. And only recently I saw that someone was selling this with three other Milan jerseys, one of which I got the golden one um, from the same, from the same centenary season. He also had the black centenary jersey which is not that great but he had a wear on there which I want to also also get um, and I waited because I knew the price is high enough that it will linger around I asked what's the size turned out to be a medium yeah but for, you know for those jerseys medium does fit me and after a long contemplation I said okay this should be my father's day present I uh, my wife said yeah Let's get this for you to Father's Day. I made the negotiations and so on, and we got it. I got it for 70 bucks together with the other jersey. So for me, a real find, uh, and it was actually in good con condition. Uh, I just had to do a little bit ironing here on the collar. I have to tell you, this is, I mean, I, I think in late 2018, I published a list of my favorite uh, jerseys that I would like to have and this was number two on the list so I'm so happy the number one being of course is the, the centenary with the thin stripes which is similar I similar I hope to find a similar deal but 
Uh, there are so many nice details on this one that I can just get lost in. Just look at the ventilation here on the side where there's uh, three Adidas stripes are in there. So there's some branding. There's a stripe in here. You know, there's two shades of black in a way. The one that surprised me the most, if you look at the red stripes, it, it, there is a slightly slightly color fade in there, which I find very interesting. It gives it a much more organic feel than just this strict geometric pattern. Um, the material is pretty much the same as I have for the other jersey, the 98-99 home jersey that I have. Um, also the tag is the same. It is of course plain on the back, which is not, which is what I expected. And yeah, um, the three stripes here now, this is where Adidas started then to put the three stripes like that again and not just have one big tape on there. Uh, I like on the inside they did this ACM, ACM, uh, I wonder, yeah, someone took out some of the tags here. I have enough reason to believe that this is an authentic because uh, when I, I just look at it, uh, it has the feel of an old jersey. It compares very well with the, I have it hanging over, over, over there, with an 98-99 um, jersey. So <sighs> this is one of my dream jerseys. This is one of my absolute most favorite jerseys. And I'm so happy to finally have it in my collection. If Milan would take the inspiration from there, I mean, this year they have this red swirly pattern, just put on your black jersey a good amount of red and you get a proper black jersey. Yes, a nice bla a red a black jersey is always good, but I think for Milan, having the red as just an accent on a black jersey and, you know, make, make it a little bit more bold like this pattern is just glorious. Absolutely glorious. Well, let me know what you think about this beauty of a jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what memories do you have with that one. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of my collection or anything else that I do on my channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!